Hi, and welcome back to Be Creative Stamping. Today I want to show you how to make this adorable pinwheel. And I was inspired by the Stampin' Success June issue. This is an awesome magazine that you receive when you're a demonstrator, and I look forward to finding it in the mailbox each month. So, in the magazine, they talked about pinwheels. So, I'm going to show you my version of making pinwheels. So, let's get started. All right, the first thing you'll need to do is cut your paper three and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches so that it creates a square. And I'm going to pull over my um, personal trimmer here and we are going to score the square. So I like to line up this point and this point in the groove of the cutter, okay? And I'm taking the scoring blade and I'm running it across to make a score line. Now you can also use your diagonal plate of your Simply Scored. That works very nicely too. Again, I've rotated the paper and now I'm going to score the other side point to point, okay? So now that I've done that, I have found a center in the paper and I'm going to show that to you. It's really hard to see on designer paper. So what I like to do is take my stylus and put a little hole there. There, now I think you can see it. And that is the center of the square. All right, the next part is to put it back in the trimmer and again, line it up, line up the points with the groove on the paper cutter and then close it and I am going to zoom in so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to take the cutter and I'm going to cut right along that score line. I'm on top of it and I'm going to stop when I get close to the hole that I had punched. And then I'm going to lift up that cutter and now I'm going to cut along the other side. Okay? And I'll show you what that looks like. There we go. Just like that. So you can see that's the center. It's kind of hard to see. That's the center right there. And I have cut that much for the pinwheel. And now I'm going to rotate it. And now we're going to cut along right on top of the other score line. So let's get started here. Again, I'm cutting very close to where the hole is, but I certainly don't want to cut to the hole or the paper will fall right off. Alrighty, so I think I've got it. Now you get the idea of um, where you're cutting and where you're not cutting. Okay, and everybody see that? Alrighty. Now the next thing we're going to do, and I'll try and zoom in a little closer. See if I can do that. Alright, I like to use a glue dot and I am going to get out my craft and rubber scissors and I'm going to peel that glue dot off and I'm going to stick it in the center where the hole was, okay? And then I'm going to lift this point and I'm going to bring it over and sit it right on top of that glue dot, right there. And then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to take this corner and sit it right on top. I actually need to put another glue dot there. And you may need to do that each time. Alrighty, and now here we go, next glue dot. All right. And I am, I'm going to put another one right on top of that, just like that. And now I'm going to bring this one up and stick that one there. And I have one more to do. So I'm going to grab a glue dot and stick it down here. And now I am going to attach that. And that's your pinwheel. It's that easy. Now the next thing I like to do to embellish it, I'm going to use the Boho Blossom Punch. 
and I am going to punch out a white flower. This is the one I'm going to use. And I think I can zoom back out a little bit. And then what I like to do is break up the fibers in the paper a little bit. So I like to go around it a few times. Just like that. And I'm going to grab a glue dot. They'll become your best friend. And I'm going to stick it right there on top of the flower. Excuse me, I'm going to stick it right there on top of the pinwheel, just like that. And then I'm going to use one of these Darling Dahlias. I don't know if you've seen these yet or not, but they come in all five of the new in colors, and they are adorable. I'm going to attach a glue dot to the Dahlia, and I'm going to stick it right on top. And now I've embellished the pinwheel. I am also going to turn those petals up a little bit more. All right. And ladies, that is how you make a pinwheel. Now to make the rest of our card, I am using the Tangerine Tango in the Brights uh, paper stack. And I'll put the uh, item number for you on the screen so you'll, you can look it up in your book. So I am just going to attach the designer paper to the Lucky Limeade. Love these colors together. Reminds me of summer. All right. And now I'm going to attach Lucky Limeade to the card base. And the card base is Whisper White. So we'll be all set. Alright, so it's a really fast card. Okay. Alright, now the next thing we want to do is attach a stick. Because remember, it's a pinwheel and we want to have a stick on that. And so I brought out my craft and rubber scissors because this stick is way too long for the card. So I'm going to cut some of it off and I'm going to see if that will work. It will work. I'm going to cut just a tad more off. You can find these lollipop sticks um, in any craft store. Okay. So let's use that and I'm going to attach the stick with a glue dot. Alright. So there it is all attached. and. I have one more glue dot left. Um, I'm just about out of glue dots. It would probably be wise to attach a glue dot right under this as well. But since it looks like I have only one left, I am going to use that glue dot on my pinwheel. Okay? And then I'm going to stick it down like that. Alrighty? So that's how that would go. And I think I'm out of glue dots. I should have gotten a um, another roll. So there we go. There's our pinwheel card. And I did use Lucky Limeade ink for Celebrate Today. And I'll do that for you real quick. So you can see how I created the tag. All right. So here we go. And I take the square punch. I use the one and three eighths because this is a pretty wide piece of um, Whisper White paper. And I just did that to make my little fish tail. There you go. And then attach dimensionals on the back. Here we go. Attach dimensionals on the back and then just attach it to your card. So, there you go. There's a pinwheel card. I'll also show you another treat. And this is a little pinwheel. And I have filled it up with our 1x8 cello bag. So you can see how cute this is. And wouldn't this make a nice um, party favor or even um, a table decoration? So I hope you enjoyed the, the pinwheel video. Please let me know if you have any questions. And if you decide 
um, that you'd like to know how to make this, I'd be happy to do another video for you next week. Okay, so let me know if that's something you're interested in. And thanks so much for buzzing by.